kwento nila? First of all, I'm not the president's spokesperson, so the president can um, defend himself and answer the questions uh, with respect to his actions and his words naman po, no? Um, when it comes to my actions, I think my record speaks for itself. From the time I was in the Senate, I fought for reproductive health bill, which is a, which is a bill, which is now a law, that languished for 12 years. If I did not initiate that in the Senate, we wouldn't be where we are today in having a reproductive health law. Fast forward, just a month ago, we passed the maternity leave bill ratified by both houses. You'd think that that is a very simple bill aimed at simply giving women a few more days to take care of their baby, to take care of themselves. And yet, nalaman ko, kaya pala taon-taon din inabot yun because pinasa ko na yun in the Senate when I was still there is because there was a lobby, a strong lobby apparently, by a certain employer group. So nilabanan ko yun, chinaga ko yun para mapasa yun. If you look back at my history, there's also the cheaper medicine law na lilabanan ko rin despite the the lobby also of the pharmaceutical group. One of the very first acts that I did in the lower house when I was a new member of the House of Representatives was to fight against the supposedly increase in syntax, when, which actually was a bill that was watering down our syntax law. Our syntax law is very important. If you ask any Filipino who has benefited from free medicines or free um, hospitalization, or kahit part nun, nabigyan sila, that is because of the syntax law that I fought for. That I fought for despite tobacco lobby. Na pinaglaban ko pa rin in the House of Representatives dahil ang pinasa nilang bill ay eh napakababa nung um, syntax doon. Pinaglaban ko yun. And I can go on and on, including age dis discrimination. Meron din mga employers na nagalit kasi pinapakailaman ko daw yung pag nila. But age discrimination affects many women. A lot of women choose or are forced to leave the workforce because they have to take care of their young children. So because of the age discrimination, madaming nakalagay sa newspaper, 29 years old, hindi ka na daw pwedeng magtrabaho. I fought for that. Inabot din ang taon yun. So with all due respect, I think my track record speaks for itself. I fought the hard battles. Hindi ko nga pinipili yun eh. Pero sometimes, there's no one else who fights these battles. So I can stand proud and say that I fought for so many things. And idagdag ko, controversial man, pinaglaban ko din po ang divorce law. Because divorce bill, which I hope will be a law. Why? Because I've seen the plight of women. Iniiyakan ho ako ng mga babaeng bugbog sarado, sustento pa nila yung asawa nila. Mga OFW, malaman nila, iba ng kinakasama ng husband nila. I fought for them, despite the fact that these are very controversial bills. And no, not many people are willing to take on that fight. So with all due respect, I believe I fought the battles. Ma'am, follow-up question lang po. Um, uh, personal po, ano po yung pananaw niyo dun sa pangahalik ni Pangulong Duterte sa isang Korea? Like I said, Korea? he can defend himself. I am not his spokesperson. Look at my track record. I will continue to fight for women, for children, for healthcare, and for education. But, Thank you. As a I'll take another uh, question. As a uh, spokesperson of I'll women. take another question, please. I've answered already. Thank you. All right.